I welcome you to this channel, my dear truth seekers. Even during the battle for Bakhmut, the rhetoric of the head of musicians, Yevgeny Prigazin, changed dramatically. I noticed that he repeats memorized propaganda phrases that are distributed by the Western media and officers of Western military structures. The purpose of such false statements was the same, to lower morale in the ranks of soldiers and officers of the Russian army, and thereby cause the collapse of the front. From the very beginning, it was clear to everyone that it would be impossible to defeat Russia on the battlefield. Everyone understood perfectly well that the only way to defeat Russia was to stab her in the back, with the help of traitors to the motherland, thinking only about their ambitions and benefits. My friends, history repeats itself. The same thing happened in 1917, during the First World War. When the Russian army took the initiative and reached a turning point in the war, making its victory inevitable, Russia's enemies made every effort to destroy the country from within, with the help of internal enemies and traitors. The enemies of Russia wanted to do the same in 1943, with the help of Soviet General Andrei Vlasov. Back then, in 1943, the Red Army managed to reach a turning point in the war, and it became clear to everyone that the USSR would inevitably win that war. Russia's enemies managed to recruit Soviet General Andrei Vlasov and send the full power of his army to the back of the Soviet Union. However, Joseph Stalin took into account all the mistakes of the Russian Empire and did not allow Russia's enemies to steal victory from Moscow once again and destroy the country from within. Everything that is happening now reminds me of events of the past years. When the counteroffensive of the armed forces of Ukraine failed and it became clear to everyone that this was a turning point in the war, and that Russia would immediately launch a full-scale offensive in the north and south, which would eventually lead to the surrender of Kiev, Yevgeny Prigazin and his army stabbed Russia in the back, trying to collapse the front and save the remnants of the Ukrainian army. What is happening now is a real betrayal of Russia. Yevgeny Prigazin allowed himself to be recruited and put his ambitions above the motherland. I'm sure that Vladimir Putin will not allow the events of 1917 to happen again. I have been studying Vladimir Putin's professional activities for 15 years. And I can say with confidence that this person can forgive a lot, besides betrayal. Yevgeny Prigazin signed his death sentence with his false statements against the country's top military leadership and attempts at a military coup. Putin will never forgive him for this, and severe punishment will not take long to wait.